Yo, what's going on YouTube? This your boy Comrade Zero Spike back again once again today, people. Today we're here for Comrade Geets episode 19. Now, man, my boy was redeemed in this episode. Mr. KY was redeemed in this episode, but we found out some more stuff, some more deeper kind of things going on behind the scenes in the DGP. And we got the return of, well, we got Buffer. He's actually back again, but he's back back. But then He's got his own plans that he's got coming up with in the background. I'm actually pretty interested to see what Buffer is actually going to be able to come up with and how he's going to go about his own um, his own desires. But with that being said, everybody, I want to thank everybody for liking the videos, sharing the videos, all that good stuff, all the new subscribers, stuff like that. Make sure to let y'all know to hit that like button, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And thank you all so much for watching. With that being said, let's get into the review, shall we? So this episode was pretty good. Um, I do like all the other stuff that's going on. I like I like the deeper kind of lore that they're building up behind the um dgp and what they have going on uh in this episode there we trying to find out who the uh desert star is actually supposed to be and in this episode like kwa is on the chopping block he's he's the guy that everybody's blaming right now because he's been hesitant last episode he hesitated on taking out these jamato on taking out the uh jamato or actually you know trying to win the game he was hesitating so much and no one really believes him everybody thinks he's the everybody right now thinks that he is the traitor we see that everybody uh the only people that really seem like they actually trust uh ky are the og squad man he's just it's ace but you know ace is that sly fox guy so he has to make you think that you think that you that he thinks that you think or you th whatever everybody's thinking you know so he's you know but at the same time of course, Neon, she's going to care about KY. She's going to trust KY because KY, because she actually explains to Lopo that KY is, he's going wherever he's going to protect. Whenever he decides that he's going to protect something, he's going to protect it as well. So we did see that um, Archimedal, the guy who's creating all these freaking Jamato, um, we did see that uh, one of his Jamato has reached a new type of mutation. So that's why the, um, that's kind of why the Jamato are getting bigger, they're getting stronger and they're starting to learn and be able to speak and things like that. And they're actually able to copy the dead. They're not, we got the confirmation that the Jamato and Jamato riders are not the, um, they are not, the dead right they are not like the dead writers themselves they are actually they just have the memories and stuff like that of the dead writers uh through their core through their uh core buckles so that's why they look and sound like the uh dead writers because they have they are using that dead writers core core buckle so that's why you know they're actually able to talk and look like them well at least one of them is for now but we did get a conversation. Um, B, uh, Ace did meet with Buffa and Buffa did tell them stuff like, you know, like you don't know what's really going on behind the scenes and you don't know where the Jamato actually come from. I know where they actually come from. And he actually shows Ace the, um, he shows Ace the Jamato rider buckle that he's been using. And he, Ace asks him like, are you going to get back into the game? He's like, no, I'm not like, uh, I'm not going to get back into the game. If, if, and I'm, I'm supposedly dead. So I'm going to find my own way of doing things. So I did like that though. I let, I did like how Buff has taken this like vigilante hero thing about stuff like that. Like he's like that. He's still the edgy guy. And it seems like he's getting even more edgy. Um, now that he's like become a, basically he's essentially a Jamato writer now. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to how this, how these Jamato powers are going to help him or what they're actually going to do to him because it seems like when he turns into you know his rider form using the Jamato buckle it seems like he becomes like half Jamato um essentially like how last episode was where one eye one of his eyes was like green and the other eye was regular so I'm wondering like how how far are these Jamato powers that he has right now are going to go um but he does what he does get has a has a encounter with uh near him. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. But we see that <laughs> Daichi is uh really trying to frame it out to seem like uh KY is the desire star and everybody's kind of have everybody's kind of you know trying hard to 
see how how they're actually going to trust uh Kawa. Uh in the game what they ended up having, we ended up seeing that uh they are losing bad. They are losing really, really bad and they ended up um ending the game. But they did come back, you know, they did come back on the game. They ended up uh getting a tie with the Jamato. It was thirty three to thirty three. And with that being with that being said, they now have to go a third round. They now have to go a third round because this round right here is actually supposed to be the last round, but they ended on a tie. So now they actually have to go end up going to another round. We did see that the uh, the new game master he's ended up talking to Sumidi, talking about how he's a better man. He's a game. He's a better. He's a better game master than Girori and all this other stuff, and talking about like um, the audience air quotes the audience likes it better when you know somebody wins but no one wants a super happy go lucky story where everybody is happy in the end and no one gets hurt like no yeah the the audience wants drama they want they want fear they want drama they want like they want tense they want stuff that's intense and that's what i'm basically gonna give them and he basically died like dog walking like dog you know just 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 dog walking get already talking about how you know he sucks so we ended up saying that now that the game is almost over we see that uh he game master is talking to everybody else saying that yes you're uh the game is about to be over but you guys some everybody everyone has to vote on who they think the desert star is and if you do not vote that is an automatic um elimination from the game so but he is up to, he gets real serious for some reason he ends up talking to Kawa, telling him that Kawa that someone wants to speak with you and but hey please mind your manners it turns out it's the guy talking through the frog and he actually tells Kawa that he's been supporting Kawa all this time throughout the whole game even from the very beginning he's been supporting Kawa, and that's why Kawa has been uh that's why the boost buckle has always been either given to Kawa or given to ace but mostly he's the one that's always sent out the boost buckle to go to uh Kawa. and Kawa always gave it up and he was always mad about that and turns out he's always been the one that's kind of been helping Kawa in the background and i'm just it kind of for me i didn't like that because it seemed but it, it, it kind of downgrades it kind of downgrades KY a little bit. Like some of the all the like K was awesome feats and stuff like that. I'm wondering like what I like, did that guy send him the ninja to send the ninja buckle for him as well. Like it 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 really I it kind of didn't sit right with me and it kind of dumbs down. It kind of for me it, it kind of dumbed down K still K was still my favorite character. He really is. Yeah, he has a lot of he has a little bit more character development he has to go through. Like he's just he's like because he's like. I can very much relate to him, but he's like too nice. He's too much of a nice guy. So that's what even the frog dude tells him that he has to say it's time to stop being Mr. Nice Guy and time to start playing kind of rough. You know, start time it's time to start playing kind of kind of you know, kind of an ass a little bit, you know. <laughs> and you know, you're trying to get your risk you're trying to get your wish granted, right? So um in the and plus in one game we actually saw how uh, Ace was the reason why they were actually able to get this uh, tie by actually taking two balls and actually using the bullets from his gun to guide the bullets all the way, to guide the uh, balls all the way to the goal, and that's how they were able to tie with the rest of the Jamato. Now we end up seeing um, Nerum. Nerum Nerum actually comes in contact with Buffa, and I guess kind of beats him up. <laughs> And ends up capturing in the, like because Buffer made it out. Buffer made it out of the Jamato um, dimension, and he ended up back in the regular dimension. And you know that's where he ended up beating Ace and stuff, talking to Ace and stuff like that. And Ace even tells um, KY that he actually met up with Buff. He actually met up with Buffer, and while they're sitting having having a late night steak. I don't understand that, like, like guy, like how, like Ace, how, how prestigious are you for you'd be like, I need a midnight snack, and you just make a whole freaking steak meal, like <laughs> that's bougie as hell. But um, uh, KY doesn't believe him at first, but if what well, he does end up believing him that both of is like technically still alive, and I'm. I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody's faces when when they see Buffer and see him alive and well and stuff like that. But 
other than that, we said to see that um, Buffer ended up uh, meeting up with Nerum, and Nerum ends up capturing him and taking him back to the Jamato uh, dimension. But now that you know, now that we're back in the game, we end up seeing that uh, Geats ends up uh, exposing the. He ends up exposing uh, Daichi, and he ends up exposing. Um, the Jamato for what they really are. As he tells him that the Jamato, they're not um, the dead riders. They're actually just Jamato impersonating those riders. And because, you know, like I said before, they have the memories and, you know, stuff like that. And kind of don't have, not really personality, but have the memories and the voice of whatever rider that they're actually representing or whatever, like whatever um, core buckle that they actually, you know, sucked all the power out of. That's who they're actually going to look like so you're not fighting them you're fighting just copies of you're you're still just fighting regular jamato they just copied those people so kwa does get ends up getting his um second win um we did see that neon and you know after Neon talking to lopo uh lopo ends up trusting um lopo ends up trusting uh kwa again she ends up giving him we saw that early in the episode that daichi ends up taking the ninja buckle from Dai, uh, from the, taking the ninja buckle from Kawa and as he giving it to Lopo, but then this episode we saw how Lopo ends up giving him back the ninja buckle, and that's when we get Kawa running and sprinting and doing a whole bunch of ninja stuff through the city to get that one last goal because all they need was all they have to do is score once and they end up winning the game, vice versa for the uh Jamato as well. We say that Ace does give him some kind of support throughout the um while he's you know trying to uh get to the goal, he's actually using the cement gun that he's using for his uh new form, his construction form. He's actually using the cement gun to actually create support beams and stuff like and you know, like platforms and stuff for K while to jump and you know jump all on and stuff like that and dodge so he can actually end up getting to the goal we see that uh ky ends up scoring the last goal and you know busting through the freaking um busting through the freaking uh boss Jamato's attack and we ended up getting a broken helmet you know last episode looking kind of thing where his helmet gets broken and you see his face through the helmet is actually pretty freaking cool because a lot of times you only see that with the main rider the only time you'll see it with like the main you know rider stuff in the main mc so that was actually pretty nice to see and it actually gave kwa some of that main character type energy even though he has a lot of that but they ended up winning the game and after they ended up winning the game we see they ended up having to vote and when they vote, everybody votes for Daichi. So and Daichi ends up um, saying that, yeah, the human mind is this and that, but I promise you, you all will regret this. So Daichi's out. Daichi ends up getting retired. He's gone. And that's when they everybody goes back to the lounge and we end up seeing that Nirium uh, ends up taking, we are sitting there, Nirium ends up taking uh, both of back to the Jamato place, or uh, Jamato pocket dimension, and he tells him that, uh, he tells his uh, secretary, he tells his secretary that, or his assistant girl, that Buffa cannot come back to life. Buffa is dead. He cannot come back to life because it would ruin like the ratings and stuff of the DGP. It would mess it up and stuff like that. So mess up like the represent, uh, 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 rep, what is it? Reputation. I about to say representation. Reputation of the DGP and things like that. So people have to know the stakes and know that your life is on the line, stuff like that. Just, you know, just casual fool the audience type stuff. And we see that Buffer was pretending to be asleep this whole time. We say, hey, I, I, I have high hopes for him. High hopes that he'll become like a really strong Jamato, stuff like that. So Buffer was pretending to be, uh, he was pretending to be knocked out in that point. So he heard all of that. So yeah, to see that Buffer is really taking the, taking this uh plan he has seriously. So. Now that um, Kawa has basically won, we now move on. It turns out he goes back to talk to the frog guy. And it turns out we find out that uh, Daichi was not the disaster. He was not the dis uh, disaster. And that's when Kawa, he tells Kawa that, hey, now it's time for you. Stop being a nice guy. Stop being Mr. Nice Guy. And actually start doubting. Actually start trying to win because you're really not trying to win. But yeah, episode basically ends off right there. Next episode, we're, they're going to be throwing fruit bombs at them. Um, but overall, this episode was fine. Um, 
the action in this episode felt like it was kind of a copy and paste from the last episode. I mean, if you, if you know, you know, uh, kind of felt like a copy and paste from the last episode. I did like how K was the one to, uh, basically clear his name completely and, um, deal that final blow with the help of ACE thing. You no, know, with the help of ACE, the only person that wanted to help him really, well, Lopo too, cause she's the one to give him back his, uh, his ninja stuff. So that made that, that's, you know, that makes sense. But other than that, I did love this. Uh, I like. I love the final um, strike, like the final, the final strike that he dealt to this uh, big boss, to the boss Jamanto, and uh, I think that's like the coolest out of all, out of everything. That was like the coolest action moment. Like that was like the best one in my opinion for this episode as well. I give it a solid. I give it a solid eight out of five. You know. It gets more points because, you know, the whole broken glass, the whole like glass, the whole broken uh, helmet thing was pretty freaking dope to me. And I love that. But, man, there's a lot going on. You see that? <laughs> I feel like the Game Master and Nerium, the, the frog dude uh, and the other and the other guy that's also looking with Ace. I wonder if Neon and Lopo also have like these sponsors or these people that's working with them in the background and stuff like that, trying to like send them stuff and stuff like that. I wonder if, if all of them have that type of uh, Lopo. I don't know. I don't know much about Lopo. This is basically like our first game with her, so we don't know much about her. You know, she also could be the disaster. I'm and also Neon and K. Like K, we already know K ain't that they ain't that they ain't the uh, disaster. So it's out of K Lopo. I mean, not K Wa. It's out of Neon Lopo and Ace. I don't think Lace is I don't, Lace. I don't think Ace is the disaster. I don't think it is. It's I think it's Neon. I think it's Neon this time. <laughs> Also, because like, you know, she most likely if she does have another person uh, sponsor, basically like basically sponsoring her and basically looking uh, kind of someone in her corner. Um, I don't think I think it's her dad, but I think she also has somebody else that hasn't been revealed to us yet. But other than that, you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of Carmody Geeks episode 19. Make sure I like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Take care of each other. And remember, as I always say, stay Kinchin.